Hi everyone, I'm Krista Hemme, Communications Director, bringing you City Council highlights from the Broken Arrow Community Playhouse. War of the Worlds, the Panic broadcast, will be performed this month, so keep watching for details. Here's what happened at the October 1st City Council meeting. On the consent agenda, plans for a Creative Arts Center on Main Street will start to ramp up soon with the hiring of a construction manager for the project. Funding for the Creative Arts Center was first approved by voters in 2014 as a community gathering place where residents could create and display their art. Regional Arts Alliance of Broken Arrow has raised millions of dollars to pay for day-to-day -day operations. The City Council approved contracts with Cowan Group Engineering and Meshack & Associates for the engineering and design work to improve stormwater drainage in two areas of town. Meshack will design improvements around Indian Springs Country Club near Jasper and Aspen Avenue, while Cowan will design improvements near Stone Ridge Town Center near Albany and the BA Expressway. These are two Build Our Future BA bond projects that voters approved in 2018. A new multifamily housing development is being planned near downtown. Bentley Row will transform a block near Elm and Houston into row houses. Bentley Row will be a beautiful addition to the neighborhood around the downtown area and will fill a growing market for townhome style residences. The council agreed to a promotional license for the Cool Grills Car Show, which returns to the Rose District on October 12th. Put on by the Rotary Club of Broken Arrow, Cool Grills features craft vendors, food trucks, music, and most of all, cars. New this year will be a fun run benefiting joy in the cause. In presentations, Assistant City Manager for Operations Kenny Schwab presented the Ronald D. Flanagan Gold Project Award to the City Council. The Oklahoma Floodplain Managers presented this award to the city at their annual conference last month in Durant. The award recognizes the city and Broken Arrow Public Schools for their unique partnership on the ongoing Together project that resulted in the creation of the Tiger Creek Nature Park across Albany from the high school. Did you know Broken Arrow ranks as the number three city in Oklahoma for manufacturing? More than 7,000 people work for more than 300 manufacturing companies in the city. Because of this, the council decided to join a national movement to proclaim October as Manufacturing Month in Broken Arrow. This proclamation shows the city's support for these companies and helps improve public perception of manufacturing jobs and the skills required for them. In general council business, the council approved the next sale of bonds from the 2018 Build Our Future BA campaign. The series 2019 bonds will fund projects such as designs for widening Houston Street, improvements to the intersection of Washington and Aspen, construction and equipment for Fire Station 7's replacement, and numerous parks and stormwater improvements. In the Municipal Authority meeting, the heavy rains and flooding that happened this spring caused several problems at a lift station on the north side of Broken Arrow. Tetratech will be working with us to improve efficiencies at the lift station and the sanitary sewer lines flowing into it. The firm will provide hydraulic, capacity, and functional evaluations and flow monitoring assessments. In community events, the Broken Arrow Community Playhouse at 1800 South Main will perform War of the Worlds, the Panic broadcast, from October 4th through October 13th. The play features a radio ensemble recreating the Orson Welles infamous radio production 10 years after the original broadcast. Showtimes and ticket information is available at BACPTheater.com or call 918-258-0077. Gamers of all sorts are invited to Oklahoma's newest gaming convention, the Name Your Game Expo, October 5th and 6th at Stony Creek Conference Center. The convention will showcase a diverse lineup of both video games and tabletop games spanning a variety of genres. Also catch local artists, authors, cosplayers, and more. Details can be found online at nygexpo.com. The semi-annual Community Book Fair returns October 5th. The sale runs from 8 to 5 and benefits Broken Arrow neighbors. Call 918-251-7781 for more information. The Red Cross will host a community blood drive from noon to 6 on Monday, October 7th at Central Park Community Center. Please help out if you're able. Ray Harrell Nature Center is hosting a conservation fair Saturday, October 12th from 10 to 2. Various groups will be at the Nature Center to promote conservation and sustainability. Join the fun with a food truck, educational games for children, and the chance to talk to organizations making a difference in the community. 
Also on October 12th is the annual Mummy and Me Dance at Neen Heist Park Community Center. This wonderful Halloween themed dance is for moms only and kids. Tickets are $5 per person and can be purchased at either Neen Heist Park or Central Park Community Centers. Costumes are definitely encouraged. And as I mentioned earlier, Cool Grills returns October 12th. Come check out cool cars and a great atmosphere from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the Rose District. That's it for this edition of City Council Highlights. The next meeting is October 15th. Have a great day, everyone.